All right, so today we're going to be talking about what it means to set filtering to ignore versus setting filtering to none um, in a level metric. All right, now if you look on the screen here, I have a simple metric, sum of revenue, okay, and I have a level specified with the target attribute is region, the filtering is ignore, and the grouping is none. So let's take a look at what this looks like on a report. Okay, so now you can see I have a simple report, the filter on year and region, and then we have year and month in our report template, and we have that level metric I just showed you. So let's take a look at what the results look like when we run this. Okay, so here are our results. Now let's take a look at the SQL and see how it arrived at these results. Now, remember we had a filter on year and a filter on region. Okay, and our level metric, the target was region, and the filtering was set to ignore. And as you can see in the SQL here, we do not see a filter on region. We only see a filter on the year. That's because we set the filtering on region to ignore. So it will ignore that part of the filter. And the grouping we specified as none. But as you can see, it grouped on month. Why did it do that? It did that because the target attribute in our level was region. It wasn't from the time hierarchy. So that's how it arrived at these results. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what it means to set the same metric to use the same metric, only this time we'll set the filtering to none and the grouping to none. All right, now here's that same metric. And the only difference is, as you can see in the level here, we've set the filtering to none. So again, it's got the same target attribute of region, and the filtering is none, and the grouping is none. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this metric looks like on the report. All right, so now I went ahead and added this metric to the report, as you can see here. Uh, let's go ahead and run this and see what the results look like. All right, so as you can see, the results are a little bit lower here. Interesting. The only way they can get lower is if there's some additional filtering going on. So let's take a look at the SQL and see what that looks like. All right, let's scroll down here. And this is our original metric, again, with only the year filter, right? And this is our new metric with the filtering is set to none. But as you can see, it's actually including all of our, our entire filter here, the year and the region. So that would be why the numbers look lower than the other metric. Now, the one thing I want to point out here is look at the table it's using. It's using a table from the um, location hierarchy, right? It looks like day, call center, sales. So this is a table where the sales are aggregated by call center day. Let's go back up to our original metric. That's using month category sales. So it's using a completely different table. Now, this happens to be one of the primary uses for using uh, filtering none as opposed to ignore, is that you can actually target which table the metric will use to calculate. Um, now this is, you know, it's something that you probably will not have to use that often, but this is a big reason, a big reason for using this, this option. Now, let's talk about what about the filter, right? Because there's two, there's two parts to this, right? There's the table that it used, but then why did it include our filter? Well, let's talk about what we need to do to correct this if we want it to if we want it to truly ignore the filter as we saw above in the in the other metric. So now we're going to go ahead and edit this metric and we're going to come down into the level. Okay? And we're going to choose advanced. And what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck this option, this filter setting, uncheck to exclude attributes absent in report or level. We're going to uncheck this, click okay and then we're going to click Save. Okay, now let's go ahead and rerun our report and let's see what our results look like. Okay, so there we have it. Now the results are exactly the same, right? So now let's take a look at the SQL and see what that looks like. Go View, SQL, and let's scroll down. Now remember, our first attribute is using Month Category Sales. And there we have it. And this is our new attribute, still using the, the, the other table. But now the filter matches. That's why the data matches. So it's only using the year, the year from, the, from, the, uh, from our filter. So here you can see it's using two different tables to calculate the same values for the same metric.
All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BR-related content. And thanks for watching.